Hey there everyone, welcome to another fantastic day doing something brand new that I've never done before. <laughs> We're at SeaWorld Orlando. Today's a very special day. A very kind friend said, Michael, you gotta come check it out. She's actually a team member here at SeaWorld and she invited both me and David to celebrate together. We're gonna do things that we've never done before and experience this amazing place. Now, David's been here before, but I have never been here before. This is my absolute first time. David's telling me what we're doing first. David, first attraction, you said it was a roller coaster. What is it? We're heading to Manta. Manta, okay. Here we go. So David, first one, you've been on it before. You're leading the way this time because I've never been. Is, is this it? This is it, right here, Manta. Are you right, serious? Right when you walk in the park. It's right on your right, easy, easy coaster. I want to try the coasters with you and I figure this one's conveniently here. I think it's one of the best and it's definitely very popular too. So may as well catch it first thing. Okay. I should mention, I think the most extreme roller coaster I've ever been on was either Storm Runner or Rock and Roller Coaster. One of the Storm Runners at Hershey Park, I think and Rock and Roller Coaster Walt Disney World. So this is probably gonna be a step up for me, but I haven't, you know, it's early. I haven't eaten anything yet and we're here together. I haven't had time to think about it. Let's just get on. Okay, David said it's worth it. We're going together. Oh my gosh, this looks super intense. Are they lying down? 20 minute wait for apparently one of the best attractions here at SeaWorld. New policy we're learning now, David's learning with me. They only allow fanny pack size bags to go all the way up the coaster. Everything else you gotta rent a locker. We know for next time, but that's fine. Totally fine, $2 for the rental for two hours. Let's do Manta. We have like Manta rays and other rays. There's a hammerhead shark right there. They have some amazing animals here in the queue for this attraction. Wow, that is so cool. We're so close to these sharks and rays. And look at that baby guy right there. Oh my gosh, wow. Just look at this unbelievable view of those fish, the rays, the sharks. Just the picture opportunities just in line alone are incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh God. Amazing. Oh, you're lying. Oh I am God, lying down. <laughs> you seeing this? Okay, just making sure you're seeing that. Wow. Oh my gosh, what a roller coaster. You're lying down, totally secure, but oh my gosh, we're flipping all over the place, doing spins. It was super intense. And I love the sights you get along the way. You can see like waterfalls coming down. It's, there's not music, but it kind of feels like there's music. It's it's really cool. Now there's Atlantis over there. David told me we've got to try that, and we definitely will, but we're now going on the Kraken. David's telling me I can handle this one too. I don't know about all that. Should I really be trusting David with these decisions? I don't know, it looks super intense. Really interesting to see, Kraken's got uh, no line or very little line here. Just got off the Kraken, no filming on that one. Unbelievably intense. Uh, not the Hulk, not the Hulk, but my gosh, my head is spinning a little bit. I feel like I'm getting a little old. <laughs> the Kraken, you're spinning, you're going upside down every 10 seconds. Very intense. Dave, what'd you think of that coaster? It is a great one. Again, more intense than I remember. There's most definitely intensity to these. You go upside down at least a few times on this one. So something to keep your eyes open for, but a lot of fun. Dave and I are hoping to see the Dolphin Adventures today. Really does look like a, a cool show, but it's full. You can see the whole uh, area out there. Got a lot of guests in there. So we're gonna try maybe a little bit later after one more coaster. Check out the American Alligator Enclosure. Wow, we're seeing so many gators here. Tough to see through the fence, but Wow, wow. Take a look at these guys, there are dolphins in the water right there. And apparently this may be one of those experiences where you have the opportunity to actually go in there and be, be with them for a bit, feed them. Not 100% sure how that works. But yeah, there's a, a lot of amazing animals here. Dingray Lagoon, this is cool. We actually get to uh, come up next to the tank here. And I'm guessing if you have food on, in, in your hand, they'll come up and say hi. Wow, that's really cool. And then over there you can see this thing, you can purchase stingray food right there. So you can feed them by hand. We might need to do that. Here comes the stingray right here. So if I had food in my hand, I put my hand in the water and then the stingray would be able to eat out of my hand. That is so, so cool. We may have to go back there and take a look at those. They have food prices for a minute. Feed these stingrays. Wow, here's where we find the whole family of stingrays right over here. Look at all these guys. They're all circling this little island right here, ready for their food. Look, they got food right there. Someone just dropped a piece of food. 
and maybe they'll be able to eat it. Check out this pelican. I don't think I've ever been this close to a pelican before. That is awesome. I'm, I'm not sure if he's like expecting me to like hand him food or something, but that is so cool. That's a lot closer than I thought I'd get to a pelican today. It's like Pelican Island. They're all right here. We have entered the shark area of SeaWorld. You can see shark encounters, underwater grill and bar. I'm about ready for lunch at this point. We're gonna go experience Mako now which is the last big roller coaster apparently right now, but David told me they're building another one. So we're gonna have to check that out. Great first experience here, I gotta tell you. Check out Elmo Rocks right there. That looks like a cool show for younger ones in your traveling party, but now it's Mako's turn. Here we go. Look at the theming in these lines here. Really impressive to see all like the buoys and you can see the uh, growing bits all around as if we're underneath the water at this point, about to head on. Apparently it's a zero minute wait it definitely looks like it, wow. Just got off Mako, gotta tell you, it was awesome. I think of all the three we've been on today, that was my favorite. I, I, I loved it, it did not go upside down, but it had the most intense drops and intense ups. And yeah, I don't know, somehow about those Gs, I like those better, where it's like pulling up and down rather than like flipping over. Still do like all the other ones. I would go on all three of them again, I really would. Mako and Manta though are like my top two. Those are, yeah, Mako. Yes, love that one, definitely recommend it. Give your thoughts on Mako. A lot better than I remember on this one. You're right, not too intense, a nice speed to it. I feel like it's quite good. Most definitely would go on that one again. Now we're here at the waterfront area and this is where the electric ocean area is actually gonna take place, it's by the waterfront. This is where they have a very special fireworks and uh, nighttime spectacular. I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna be able to see it tonight because apparently it is pretty late, but. At some point, I'd love to see it. Oh my gosh, check out some of these folks saying hi to us. I gotta get a picture, oh my gosh. What were you just saying, David? Monster Shakes. Oh, Monster Shakes. I thought you were all about protein. What happened to that, David? Oh, okay, no, no. SeaWorld David's all about these Monster Shakes. I'm hungry too, but protein first? Okay. okay, protein first. Just stopped here in Coaster Coffee. You're just looking. They serve Starbucks. So this is technically your Starbucks at SeaWorld. I did not know they had a Starbucks here. That's great to know. Now, David knows one of my favorite creatures that they have here are the penguins. And right now we're going to Antarctica. We're also going to apparently find a dining venue in Antarctica. Looking forward to trying it. Apparently it's really good. Wow, look at these destinations. Cape Town is 7,400 kilometers away. Oh my gosh. It all looks icy. It's not that cold though, I'm still sweating. We need some of those cold effects around here. Check out this place, oh my gosh. This is, I'm super impressed. David, very, very impressed here, wow. So you can, uh, you can see we're like in an ice area. It's all like everything from the glacier below, every part of it. Empire of the Penguin is a penguin exhibit but apparently it's an 80 minute standby line. Learning more now, David, tell us more about it. Yes, the 80 minute line here is to ride the attraction and then see the penguins in the exhibit afterwards. 45 minute wait just to go see the penguins in the exhibit. So two separate options here. You can ride that ride and see the penguins or just see the penguins. I feel like if you're here, you wanna try things, may as well do both, right? Fully agree, so how is the ride? Do you like it? I thought it was pretty cool. It's okay. a relaxing ride. It's kind of like a seated like a dark ride like okay on some other attractions but there's a lot of cool components to it okay all right we might have to try it lunch first though and apparently exhibition cafe is really good because the line goes all the way out the door here we are inside of the very special arctic expedition it looks super nice in here you got lots of options to choose from three different counters they've got pizza they've got kind of like an asian combo and then they got like fries or a chicken tender tower over there Wow, it's gonna be good. Antarctica today's special grill squid and fish come for the eats. I'm, I'm tempted by all of that, but I think I'll get it in a more cooked version. Something very interesting that David and I discovered, they have an all you can eat buffet here where you get to dine all day, $45 for adults, $23 for children. And you can get all of these items as often as every hour. Good to know if you're super hungry. They have pizza and salad, the Asian signature combo. We're gonna get those. And then they've got the chicken and fries over there. So I'm gonna start with the Asian signature combo. You get the opportunity to pick two, orange chicken, pepper steak, wow, teriyaki chicken. And then you get some sides, wow. Here's our food for lunch right here from the Exhibition Cafe. I've got the fried rice, the orange chicken, and that pepper steak. It looks really good. Let's try it together. I love this AC area here. It's super well themed as if you're truly on an Arctic expedition. They've got uh, sleds up above you. They've got these bikes. My gosh, they've got so much. Got kind of crowded in there, but overall thoughts on the food, it was okay. It was okay. Not great. 
You know, we did look it up trying to find the best of food, not during the food festival. I have heard about that from friends who have said it's amazing, so stand by for that one. But overall food is only okay. Wouldn't come back to this spot, wouldn't go out of my way if I want to try something else in the future. Okay, they still say 80 minute wait for this Empire of the Penguin, but I feel like it's one of the ones that I really want to experience. So I think we're gonna try it. They also have that quick queue, which you I think you can either purchase or it's part of your pass, depending on uh and what you have but i really want to see those penguins and the ride sounds fun you get to from david told me you get to actually see the penguins after you go on the ride as well entering the ice caverns now can't wait to see these penguins we are here in the arctic wow look at this you can actually see within the ice caverns here we're going on a journey and the penguins hurry away to the shelter of a nearby ice cavern Dave and I just learned that the ride is not open. It's just the exhibit today, so we, we did not know that. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna see the exhibit. It got so cold so fast. Oh, it's it's super cold. And it is, uh, it smells like fish. Oh my goodness. Are you? Okay, okay, new favorite part. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how adorable the penguins are. I love seeing them. They are incredibly adorable. I could stand in here all day, but it is super cold, so I don't think they're gonna, oh, as a Floridian, it's like super cold. But I love, absolutely love seeing this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. You can see them, I love it. So you can see them underwater, and you can see them above the water. It's really close. Obviously, I'm not gonna put my hand over the tank, but we are, I cannot describe to you how close we are. Are you seeing that? Okay. You're seeing it. Oh my gosh. That is unbelievable. I love this so much. I'm taking all the pictures because that is just so cool. I just love, I mean, this is, oh, what a splash. Wow. <laughs> Got a little wet there. Wow. All right. So we're going to see this Emperor Penguin jump in. You ready? We're going to watch him do it. Here it comes. There he goes. Wow. Man, they, they move so fast and they splash. I just, I just could stand here all day, but I'm so cold. The cast members are wearing like parkas to protect them. That's how cold it is. It's freezing in here, but I love it. You can see they have different tags so that we can identify who's who, who's eating what, making sure everybody's healthy. Wow, that is amazing. I gotta tell you, there's so much to learn about the different penguins. I'm super cold, so I need a jacket next time. But you can like learn so many different things about these penguins. It's just so incredible and we're so close. We're so close. You can hear them making noises. As they're climbing up, they got ice and snow. I mean, they must be so comfortable. But I am, I am frozen, so I'm gonna leave. But I love this. This is awesome. Hey, are you cold? It's cold. It's okay, cold. all right, super cold. It's not that much warmer. It's really not. But I wanna go down there because I wanna show you underwater. It's amazing, this place is incredible. So hypnotic to watch these amazing creatures swim through the water with such grace. And you know the water is like just about freezing in there. So it's just so cool, bubbles all around. They're swimming in these amazing like circles and spirals. Wow, I just love it. I gotta tell you, this is just incredible. I am just blown away by this. I love this. We're gonna go see more animals like right now because this is super, super impressive. I just love it. I could watch it all day. The amazing things. With the water clearly having a wonderful time. I love it. Amazing. Oh, see, going from that freezing to this, I feel like it's, oh, my glasses are totally fogged. <laughs> so nice. This is where I'm going when I need my AC break, right in the penguin <laughs> exhibit. Calling all penguin fans, the store right outside where you see those penguins is your very own penguin to bring home with you. Wow, adorable. I love seeing them. How much is this one? $13.99 for that penguin. For this guy right here, he is $17.99. And he's nodding. Yeah, he wants you to take him home. In line now for Journey to Atlantis. Definitely looks like a cool ride. Goes all the way up there. And you don't get too wet, right, David? We'll see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's that mean? All right, we'll see. You head up there and give it a try. There's our boat. We're ready to take off on an adventure. Let's do it. Ah! That was a great adventure journey to Atlantis. Two, two drops in there, not too, too big. Didn't get too wet, look, not too wet, but others got soaked, absolutely soaked. So, a fun one, a little longer to wait, but a lot of fun. Here's the gift shop here at Atlantis. You can see all sorts of Atlantean goodies, shirts, stuffed animals, and even these, look at these guys. I'm not getting electrocuted, not getting burned. 
We're in good shape. Towels as well. On for more fun. Let's go see the Dolphins Turtle Track and Manatee Rehabilitation right by these gators. We're gonna check it out together. David, you excited? Oh yeah. Let's do it. All right, now we're gonna go check out some of these manatees. We can see them right as we walk in here. Look at these pods of manatees. Oh my gosh, you can see them. Wow, they have so many of them here. That's really fantastic. Some bigger ones, some smaller ones. There's moms and babies. So many manatees here. Okay, first of our animal encounters, or not encounters, but viewing, is the turtle trek. We're gonna see all those turtles right underwater. Now there's no line at the moment. We're just gonna walk on in. A team member told us that this was the way to go. Look at these, you got a combination of manatees, adults and babies, and different fish here by these viewing windows. And some of these fish are enormous. Look at these guys. They are bigger than my head. They are so big. Hey buddy, look at this. That's how big he is. He is a massive, massive fish. You can see a combination of fish. Oh my gosh, look at that guy. Wow, that's a very interesting looking fish there. And those turtles, there's three of them out down there taking a nap. And there's one way right up there, napping right now. It's turtle nap time. And they'll be up again before you know it. There he is, and we're learning that most of these turtles are rescue turtles. You can see this guy's missing a flipper right there. He was rescued from the ocean. Wow. Incredible to see how much that turtle is able to move about, swim, be a regular turtle, even though he's missing one of his fins. Wow. It's so great to see the rehabilitation in process. There's a Circle Vision 360 show in there, but it looks really crowded right now. So we'll add that to the list of things to see in the future. But that's one I'd love to see one day. I'm recognizing that the shows are actually more popular than many of the rides. The Dolphin Show line is already well out the door and it's like more than 30 minutes before it officially starts. So we're gonna go for the Dolphin Underwater Viewing instead, which is right here. You can see the dolphins are just kind of hanging out right above the water and they're just, uh, probably waiting for their fish to be given to them. It's just about showtime, so they know something's about to happen. They're about to get a lot of treats for doing some fun things. Looks like the dolphins might be getting ready for their show. So David and I are gonna stand in that line for a minute. And just, just see, we'll, we'll see if we get in there, maybe. Here we go, we're here 30 minutes prior to showtime. It looks like we've still got plenty of space all around. Okay, it's happening, we've got our seats. It's time to see that dolphin show. Starts in about 30 minutes but it's gonna be good. So get ready to take this fighting adventure into the world of the I gotta tell you, that was a truly incredible show. I've seen dolphin shows before, but that one was something else. You could really tell the connection that the dolphins had with all of those trainers. They were doing unbelievable jumps, spinning around, splashing everybody. It was so, so cool to see. I highly recommend that one at SeaWorld. Wow. It was a great show. Really glad we had a chance to see this one. I feel like it was more involved than a lot of the shows that I've seen in the past. Nice to be able to see the trainers jump in there and interact with those dolphins firsthand. Very, very cool see that interaction. Really was awesome. Now we're headed off to see more maybe animals and then we've got to get to some splash areas, think Infinity Falls and possibly even visit Sesame Street. Okay, we're gonna check out Pacific Point Preserve now. Apparently there's some sea lions or seals here. We're gonna go say hi. Seals and sea lions together. Look at these guys. Look at him. <laughs> he almost doesn't look real when he's sitting here. He's like super regal. Hey, oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, buddy. <laughs> he looked all the way back, scratch his own back with his head, my gosh. More of those uh, seals and sea lions over there. Wow, that is awesome. I love it. You can hear them, they're making a lot of noise, those seals and sea lions here, playing together in the water. You can hear the big guy. Look at these guys. Oh, look at that, they're like chasing each other. Sure enough, there's seal and sea lion food that you can purchase during certain hours. Not right now, because that would be one I want to feed, like right now, like I want to feed the seals and sea lions. But uh, very, very cool. That's for another day. So, so cool to see them. Here's the Sea Lion Theater right here. Not happening today, but I'm sure we'll catch it another day. See, enjoying their rest, relax, and play with their trainers time. 
I appreciate that, really do. We'll catch you another day. Now, if you're new to SeaWorld, these are especially helpful. You got the Nautilus Theater, Sea Carousel Wild Arctic, which I think is where we're headed, and then you can just find your way around. I found these incredibly helpful. Now, you know I have a fear of sharks. I do, but this seems like a good place to learn more about that fear of sharks, and apparently your chance of being hurt by other things are a lot more likely than by sharks. Just putting that out there. It's important to learn. Very important to learn. Okay, we're learning. Slowly but surely, we're, we're learning. Not gonna swim the sharks anytime soon, but we're learning. Dave and I are here looking at some of these sharks in these uh, tanks here. And now we're realizing that there's a whole grill here that we totally missed that I kind of want to experience now. Look at it, look at that. You see back there? Wow. Look at all those rays right there. And they're in there with the sharks and other fish. Really cool to see. I, we did ask about the uh, sharks underwater grill which kind of looks like uh, other underwater restaurants we've seen. Two hour wait, save it for another day. Here's MO Rocks, which I believe is probably a stage show. Not 100% sure, but looks like it rocks. Pikachu, we can win a Squirtle. I also have, is that Jigglypuff back there? Wow. Yeah, check it out, it's Infinity Falls here. Think Kali River Rapids combined with others. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. David and I definitely want to try it. Will it be today? David might convince me to be today. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's Infinity Falls, there they go. Splashing on down, there's the splash zone. Wow, what an adventure. How wet do you actually get on this attraction? Pretty wet, pretty, pretty wet. Very good chance we're gonna do Infinity Falls today. It looks so cool. But here's this new grill forward, like next to Infinity Falls that looks super modern and updated. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. David and I are now in line for the newest, latest, greatest attraction here at SeaWorld. You can see the line has gotten much longer. 85 plus minute wait for Infinity Falls. Water ride, we're gonna get wet, no question, but I cannot wait. David, you excited? Oh yeah. Let's do it. One of the most unique features of this experience is the very special raft elevator. That, I mean, when I saw it, as we walked by, I was like, we have to try this because I've never seen anything quite like that before. You Here it comes. And there they are. Look at that, the raft elevator. And here they come, they're gonna make their way down now. And then all these kids are gonna get splashed in the splash zone. Woo! That's awesome. And that's the end of the ride right here. We're about to experience an 85 minute wait. They look pretty wet up there. I got to admit I'm not in a bathing suit, but this is one of the last things we'll do today. We timed it this way. It's a more than an hour wait. But we time this way intentionally. <laughs> Looks like quite an intense adventure. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to give this a try. Ah, it's gonna be so much fun. Been in line for more than an hour at this point, and you can see the line just never ends. This is definitely the most popular attraction that they have at SeaWorld that we've seen so far. We haven't waited in anything close to like 15, 20 minutes. This is a long wait. I'm sure it's gonna be a great ride. Two hours later, we are much closer, but it is taking a long time. This is it, two hours later. Ready, David? Oh yeah. Let's do this. There it is, our raft is ready for us. We're going to step on board one of these momentarily and head on this wild adventure. Oh, yeah. Wait, flamingos. there are real flamingos yeah. on the course. Wow. Oh, 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 oh my God. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh! Ah. Woo. Oh, oh, here goes David's hood. Ah. ah, smart, smart. Oh god. Ah. Ah. Oh no. Ah. David's turn. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Ah. Ah. What's wrong with me? How'd you like it, Dave? It was a great one. Most definitely fun-filled, thrilling new dynamics with the elevator lift and such. I thought it was a great ride. Agreed in full. Some of those engineering marvels that they put together there, they turning the raft around to make sure it's pointed the right way and weight shifting. It's really, really a good one. Here we are right by Pretzel Kitchen. Looks good. We're seeing a lot of delicious looking items coming out of there. And Sesame Street lands in that direction. 
I'm tempted by a little snack. David, it's a little snack? Sure. All right, let's do it. I'm glad we stopped in here because Dave and I are seeing, not only do we see the cinnamon uh, sugar ones, we're seeing the bacon cheeseburger pretzel along with the cheese pretzel and pepperoni one, jumbo pretzel dog. I mean, yeah, there's some delicious looking items in here. I think this is dinner. Dave and I have the hot dog pretzel here with those house chips along with the bacon cheeseburger pretzel. This looks amazing. And of course, on top, the cinnamon. Delicious looking pretzel nuggets. We're gonna try all three, let you know what we think. Overall thoughts, this pretzel spot's really good here at SeaWorld. The uh, hot dog's far better than I think anything, but the cinnamon uh, pretzel's also delicious. I mean, yeah, the, the cheeseburger one was okay. Not my favorite, wouldn't go out of my way for that one. But the um, cinnamon one and the hot dog one. Yeah, I'd get those again, the nuggets, wow really good. The pretzel kitchen here at SeaWorld, I thought it was pretty solid. I preferred this food to the food we had earlier today. So of the two, this is the one I'd come back to. Here it is, Sesame Street land. For those who love Sesame Street, I have a feeling you're gonna love this next section. Let's check it out. Man after my own heart right here, Cookie Monster enjoying a cookie here on Sesame Street. We're on 123 Sesame Street, walking down the street, taking in all the sights. I have a feeling it's meant for those younger travelers in your traveling party, but Fun for everyone. Check it out, it's Elmo and Grover here to take pictures with you. I love that. Maybe we should go take a picture. I think that'd be fun. I gotta meet Elmo and Grover. I gotta do it. It's like a rite of passage. Sesame Street, come to Sesame Street. You must say hi to Elmo and Grover. Without doing so, did you really visit Sesame Street? Good to see you, you're looking great. I'm visiting you on Sesame Street, wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, no, we're having fun. We're having fun together. Great, I, I know, we're, we're on Sesame Street, we're counting, we're having fun together. You're looking blue as always. Sh yeah, shimmering blue, I love it. Tons of fun to meet those Sesame Street characters here, and I gotta tell you, super glad I met Grover. Elmo too, of course, but Grover is like one of those characters where it's like, it's Grover. I gotta say hi to Grover, it's my childhood. It's part of, part of my childhood right there. Take a look, we're walking on Sesame Street now, and I just noticed as we were walking by, we got a couple monsters hanging out at this door. That's, we have a conversation with them by uh, press and hold and then listen to what they say. Should we try it? Good to hear from you. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, hope you're having a magical day. That's so funny, it's so funny. My question is, is it one of those things where you're supposed to knock on the can? I don't, I don't see any grouches in there, but you never know. I'm gonna, pretty sure it's a real don't knock on the can. But I'm guessing, oh wait a minute. It says do not ring the doorbell either. The doorbell's sitting right there. Okay, we gotta try this. Who's knocking on my can? Oh, Oscar's definitely in there. That's cool, you push the button. It says, says do not, but it's there. I mean, obviously you're supposed to click it. That's so funny. Water splash area, smaller rides. There's like a mini scrambler over there and a picnic area for families. Great spot for younger ones in your traveling party. Brand new attraction we're seeing here at SeaWorld, which is not open yet. I just wanted to stop by. The entrance is done. Check this out, Icebreaker. It's not complete yet. You know, they've got a lot of construction walls still up all around, and I'm sure a lot of testing to do. But oh my gosh, Icebreaker. The brand new roller coaster here at SeaWorld. We're getting a look at it now. Wow, see that big loop over there? That's part of it. But then you want to see something that's extra cool? Look over here. This track goes up and up and wait a minute. There's no more track. Definitely goes backwards. That'll be a fun one to experience for sure. As we make our way out here, I want to show you the sweet sailing candy. Dipped Rice crispy Treats, Cake Pops, and of course those topped donuts. Something to try in the future for sure. Overall, an incredible day here at SeaWorld Orlando. Gotta tell you, I love the roller coasters. I love the show, Dolphin Show, amazing. More shows to see. Food was okay, but I wanna try the food festival in the future. Just an amazing experience. Definitely wanna come back. So, so much fun. Favorite part of the whole thing was either the Dolphin Show or Mako, one of the two. Love those so much. It was a great day at SeaWorld and another series of fantastic events that I hadn't tried before, from the food to being able to see that dolphin show. That was fantastic, but really a lot of little details to enjoy here today. I'm glad we had a chance to see those penguins, which I always love, and see some new things as well. Just like that, our magical day has come to an end. Thanks so much for sharing it with us. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. And see you real soon.